namaskar and salam in this video we will take the letter hamza the letter hamza does not have a sound but it does have a very important function in urdu it is used to separate two vowels when in a hindi urdu word there are two vowels in a row that means when a vowel is followed by another vowel hamza is used to separate them it behaves like a diacritic put on top of the second vowel in hindi when a vowel comes right after another vowel the second vowel is written as a full letter not as the matra not as a diacritic in a similar fashion in urdu the second vowel gets hamza on top of it let's take some examples it will be easier to follow the use of hamza then the first word is bhai meaning brother the spelling is be plus do chashmi he plus alif plus hamza plus choti a be plus do chashmi he makes the aspirate bh and alif after bh adds a matra to bh and makes it bha so after bha you have another vowel e the long e that means the vowels a and e will be separated by hamza so you add a sosha for hamza and add choti a to represent hindi long e so bha plus hamza plus choti a bha e bhai the next word is koi meaning someone here vowel o is followed by the long e the spelling is kaf plus waw plus hamza plus choti a so you write the letter kaf as initial and add waw as medial or final to make it ko since waw is a non connected letter the sosha for hamza will not be connected to waw and choti a will be written to represent hindi long e so kaf plus waw ko and hamza separates o and long e the long e is written with choti a so ko e koi the next word is jao the tum imperative form of the verb jana to go here right after a you have the vowel o jao the spelling is jim plus alif plus hamza plus waw so you write jim plus alif ja jim takes the initial form and alif is added to make it ja in case of hamza on waw the letter hamza does not have a sosha hamza is directly written on waw so jim plus alif ja and hamza on o is written separately ja o ja o and the last word is boliye the aap imperative form of the verb bolna to speak here the two vowels in a row are short e and a the short e in urdu is represented by the short vowel zer but as you know that the short vowels sabr zer and pesh are not written so in this case too the short vowel zer will not be written only hamza on ye show that there is a short e before ye the spelling is be plus waw plus lam plus hamza plus badi ye so you write bo as be plus waw the next letter lam will not connect to waw because waw is non connected but sosha for hamza will be connected to lam on one end and on the other end it will be connected to badi ye to make it liye so be plus waw bo and lam with zir plus hamza plus badi ye ye so bo liye boliye let's now take all the words together first word is bhai where the vowels a and e are in a row the next word is koi in which the vowel o is followed by the long e in the third word jao the vowel a is followed by o and in the final word boliye the short e is followed by a that is e boliye in our next video we will take noon gunna the nasalization of final vowel in urdu see you there namaskar and salam